This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, Artie! And guess. Miss Hall, I've come to investigate today. I don't care! <laughs> uh, Monsieur Edgeworth, I apologize for my disgraceful behavior earlier. Kate, she still looks a bit down. What Master said earlier must have been a real shock to her. <laughs> Cue I, happy music! <laughs> I prepared the photo I took of the desserts during the semifinals. Please, take a look! Isaac the Dover, Delicia Scones. Ooh, Gustavius looks boss! It's a phoenix. Oh, it looks like the phoenix from Harry Potter. Fox. Fuck yeah! I don't have to censor that because I said fuck. Yeah. <laughs> wow, Delicia's cake is so cute! Monsieur Master also praised the design of Delicia's work very highly. Monsieur Gustavia. Monsieur's. Oh, it's two people. Yeah. Monsieur's. Monsieur's Gustavia and Dover's works has gained high praise for both taste and design, but. Monsieur Master said it felt like he was eating the exact same thing twice. But it seems like their desserts had completely different tastes from their finals. Was there anything else that was different between the finals and the semi-finals? It's nothing major, but there was something. During the contest, Monsieur Gustavia's son always came to see him, but... There was no sign of him at the finals. His son came to visit? I wonder if there's any significance behind that. Would you mind leaving this photo with me? Certainly. Anything to aid in the investigation? Semi-final desserts added to the court record. And here's the recipe book that contains the special drug for curing taste disorders. She says out loud in front of all the palace <laughs> Really? <laughs> really? I want that! <laughs> <laughs> that cover looks familiar. Wasn't this framed in Master's room? Since it also is the prize for the contest, we put it out on display. The prize was drugs? <laughs> Actually, it's like just a bunch of crackheads with the people who entered the contest. I want the that, drugs. That explains the Dr people. Drugs and munchies, man. Oh, this is the best contest ever. You just turned into Crush from Finding Nemo. Righteous, dude. Zoinks like this will be the best one ever. <laughs> Come on, Scoop. Free drugs and free desserts. Like, this is the greatest. <laughs> that does explain all the people who entered Delicia Scones who literally can't cook. She's a pharmacist! She deals in drugs! <laughs> She's like, I can use that drug. And then there's... <laughs> Gustavi's actually part of the cartels. <laughs> oh, it'd be surprising. And then Dover, Dover, come on over. <laughs> <laughs> Dover, Dover. <laughs> Dover and his son Grover. <laughs> For them drugs. <laughs> Grover Dover, I just realized that would be his name. <laughs> <laughs> so the contest prize, Angel's Recipe. Was it just a recipe for desserts? That's right! We've informed the participants, but... It seems you all don't know yet. So the participants knew about the true contents of the Angel's Recipe. Angel's Recipe book added to the court record. Miss Hall, please tell me all you know about the Angel's Recipe. So the Angel's Recipe contains the formula for the drug. Yes. It's a recipe book for new drugs that haven't been released to the public yet. Uh... How does he have this? <laughs> he's done some illicit dealings in the past, maybe. <laughs> we don't know what kind of a job it's like, he has. These are brand new drugs, apparently. Brand new drugs. He, he, that's... Oh, there's the cure for coronavirus in here. They, that dates happened, the video. <laughs> yeah. What probably happened is he, like, started growing some stuff on, like, herbs. Stuff. He was like, ooh, this does some cool things. I'll just make this herbs to me. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> You've sold to a pharmaceutical company. Pseudical. Not cuticle. If it's sold to Not a pharmacubicle. Like... No, I said cuticle like the cuticles on your nails. Oh, I'm not familiar with that. Oh, so, le uh, um, lesson time. See the skin at the bottom of the nail that kind of hangs yeah. over? Yeah. That's a cuticle. I did not know that. Uh, a lot of people want to go to the nail salons to get the cuticles cut off because reasons. Okay. Kind of hurts. I don't know. Why would if they do that? If sold to a pharmaceutical company, I'm sure it would fetch a substantial price. Why is something like that in a prize in the contest? Monsieur Master is the only heir to the chairman of the Master Group. M 
Master Group. That name sounds familiar. They're okay. a pharmaceutical company who deal in a wide range of products. Uh, maybe Delisha works for him. Ah, so they've become big news recently with the release of Cold Killer X. <laughs> I often use the Cold Killer products. Is Cold Killer... Cold Killer X, that's what Dahlia poisoned. Yeah. But I've never once seen you with a cold. I would like to hear more about the Master Group. How did she kill him again with the Cold Killer X? She didn't kill anybody with the Cold Killer X. She was planning on killing Phoenix Wright with the Cold Killer X. But, like, how did that work again? I forgot. Like, so if he, it's a he high dosage of it? No, 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 no. She literally put a different poison in his Cold Killer medicine. So oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That's <laughs> we got her music room <laughs> literally two seconds. <laughs> Did Mr. Master not want to follow in his parents' footsteps? Monsieur Master wanted to bring joy to people with his desserts. His parents also wanted him to become a great pastry chef and supported him. When his parents died, the recipe book was left to him as in his inheritance. <laughs> I understood what you said. Why would he give away a memento of his parents as a prize in the contest? There were always people who were after it which troubled Monsieur Master. But just giving away the memento would have been disrespectful to his parents. So he decided to pass it over to someone he acknowledged. That's why people actually compete in the Great British Bake Off. <laughs> and the members of the Master Group approved of that. Information about new drugs it's being the fight passed on to drugs. outsiders. <laughs> Turn about drugs. <laughs> Turn about drugs. Of course they objected. That's why... Delisha participated in the contest. On the order of the Master Group, she was requested to win the championship. Ooh. You knew Delisha's true identity from the start? Yes. In order for her to win, I told her Monsieur Master's tastes and preferences. Why did you help her? I helped her. In order to protect Monsieur Master and the Master Group. If the drug recipes were given to another company, he would be reprimanded by the board. I wanted to return the recipes to the company in a way that Monsieur Master would accept. So it was due to Miss Hall's help that Delicia was able to reach the finals. I mean, that makes sense. <laughs> she can't cook. Mm. I can't count. <laughs> I mean, she must have learned how to make frosting, but... Yeah. Speaking of which, Mr. Dover wasn't a pastry chef either. He just really lacked drugs. <laughs> That's why he was always in having money troubles. <laughs> artists? I mean, artists tend to go for that. <laughs> every single one Not of them. Not every single one. <laughs> uh, they, they tend to be very quirky people. They tend to be quirky people. They tend to accidentally fall into that black hole. Yeah. He sure did well to make it to the finals, considering he's just a sculptor. Yes. For him to be able to make such fine desserts despite being a sculptor. I feel like it would be easier to be like really, really good at design and sculpting and then to learn how to make good flavors yeah. than it would be to be I know how to make good flavors, but I, I, I suck at the technical challenge. <laughs> yeah, no, it's uh, like, what's his face? The building contractor in... Uh, yeah, Richard. Richard. <laughs> well done, done, Richard. <laughs> From the sherbet sculptures he made for the finals, it's clear that to see he has great talent, but... Could he really have made that by himself? <sighs> that is all I know. I was also up all night. I was so tired. Ugh. Is there anything else I can do to help? She Just, looks like an Animal Crossing character with those eyes. She, she looks like if you one of those drawings where it's like, I drew an Animal Crossing villager as a human. Eesh. Actually, Wait, a lot of them are... That? Oh, that's there's a lot of that going on. Yeah, around Twitter. Actually, a lot of them are really good. I'm sure. To save Mr. Master, she's trying to help as much as she can. May we perhaps have some more of that tea from yesterday, please, Miss Hall? I'm sure that would help us get on with the investigation. Yeah! I love some K's tea, too. Did I say K? I meant Kate. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> K in the future's like, what? <laughs> right, understood. I'll be back in a minute. Kate looks a bit better now. Investigation complete. We have tea. We've gathered information about all of the contestants. Contestants. And yet we haven't heard Gustavia's side of the story. That reminds me. Why did you enter Mr. Dover's room, Mr. Gustavia? Ah, well, that was because... Silence, Ignoramus! You are not to give that attorney the tiniest bit of information! What exactly was he doing in Mr. Dover's room? And moreover... Something is odd about his semi-final entry. 
a pastry chef bad at design, and a sculptor skilled only at designing. It would have been extremely difficult for either of them to win the contest alone. Could it be that Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover's connection is... Detective Bad? We have reason to suspect the actions of Dane Gustavia. Yeah. It is imperative that we find a way to contact him at once. Uh, I this? Oh, this conversation is most interesting. Is that him? That? Hey, bro. However, I cannot allow you to speak with Mr. Gustavia. Von Karma? I have already conducted my interrogation of him. It is not necessary for him to speak any further, especially to a mere defense attorney. But I will answer your questions in that fool's place. It seems Von Karma intends to prevent me from meeting Gustavia in person. I understand. In that case, I have but one thing to ask you. Why yes. are you such a boy? <laughs> <laughs> I wish that was an option. I would like to know the relationship between Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover. Oh, cross-examination, eh? Their connection. Gustavia and Dover's relationship? It's obvious the only relationship they had was that they happened to participate in the same contest. <laughs> <laughs> That's it? Hmph! <laughs> there is nothing more to say. What? How are we supposed to understand anything from so little? If we want Von Karma to divulge the truth, we have no choice but to present evidence. It's all too obvious that he's hiding something. Oh my gosh. Should we keep going? Yeah, that's such a short rebuttal. We can do it. Gustavia Dover's relationship? They're, they aren't gay if you're, that's, that's what you're what wondering. <laughs> aren't you sure, Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover? Are you sure that they aren't linked in some way? <laughs> do not interrupt me with your baseless accusations. Here's the thing. The uh, Gustavia said he... Didn't he say he was cooking French? Cuisine. What? Didn't he was he making say... stuff out of candy. Yes, but didn't he say he trained in France or something? No, he wants to train in Zane Fa. Is that nowhere near France? Is that we near... don't. If Zane Fa doesn't exist, yeah, but it's where it, it's that an, exist in, in it's an right? Eastern European country, so it could be near France. Okay, maybe. <laughs> if we were held in court right now, I'd help have you held in contempt. I don't think Mitt Von Karma has that kind of authority, though. Von Karma is famous for having even the judges wrapped around his finger. What? But that's insane! Seems like it won't be easy to go against him in court. Prosecutor Von Karma, please continue your argument. Ho ho ho! <laughs> it's obvious that their only relationship is that they happen to both become Great British Bake Off. <laughs> it may have been a coincidence that the two participated in the same contest. They have the same reefs from the other game. However, you can't say for sure that they weren't connected. Defense attorney, how many times must I tell you? If you have no evidence to challenge my argument, be silent! Wow, okay man, jeez. I'll be silent for now then. So I need to show evidence of a link between Mr. Gustavi and Mr. Dover. Let me find Your mouth may be silent, but your eyes tell me everything. What is it you want to say? D does he want me to speak or be silent? Would seem Von Karma does not want us to know Gustavi and Dover's real connection. Maybe the connection between the two puts the prosecution at a disadvantage. Maybe they're brothers. I don't know. 38. Oh, I guess that's possible. They don't really look a lot like They're no. fraternal twins. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're two years apart! You said they're 38 and 38. I said they were 38, and then I'm like, oh, they could be brothers. He Wait, was 36. Wait, how old is... Oh. Gustavus, <laughs> they're fraternal twins. They were born two years apart. Twins! <laughs> <laughs> they must have had something to common. I should enlighten Von Karma of this fact. <laughs> enlighten me. <laughs> enlighten. All right, well, they, they made the same desserts. Uh, objection. Prosecutor Von Karma, I'd like you to look at these stilet desserts. Delicious desserts. The desserts were made for the contest semifinals. Don't you think these two have a particularly impressive design? Humph! <laughs> Just what are you getting at? My wife makes better desserts every day! <laughs> these two desserts were made by Mr. Gustavi and Mr. Dover. I wouldn't exactly call Mr. Gustavia's design skills praiseworthy. And yet for the semifinals, he was able to produce something comparable to Mr. Dover's. 
Furthermore, these two desserts have the exact same flavor. What are you trying to say? Desserts are desserts. They just taste sweet. Oh, he's unbu- oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, no. I was like waiting for him to unbutton his shirt or something. <laughs> I'd say, and it's possible that they collaborated with each other on their entries. I was waiting for him to throw off his jacket, his detective jacket, <laughs> and just be like, whoosh! Prosecutor Von Karma, please take a closer look at their desserts. They're the same colors and roses. At first glance, they may look completely different. But even though their designs are different, it's clear they were made from the same materials. Is that so? The same flavor and composition. It's impossible to dismiss their similarity as coincidence. The very existence of these two desserts point to a link between Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover. Hmm. <laughs> Since you already know this much, I'll tell you the truth. Did Von Karman know about their collaboration? However, what I'm about to say is not going to help your case at all. He says one sentence. Their real connection. If you want to know about Gustavia and Dover's connection so badly, I'll tell you. Last night, when I interrogated Gustavia, he told me about the connection with Dover. Until the day before the finals, they worked on their desserts together. Were the semifinals the day before the finals? Yeah. Okay. So they worked ev on together until the finals, basically. They were like, oh my gosh, we're bros. We're <laughs> happy. They were, they were tight. <laughs> Mr. Dober, perhaps we should work together. Oui, oui, yes, we should. <laughs> he's not actually French, though. <laughs> no, he's not. You knew about their cooperation all this time, didn't you? Why would you conceal the truth? I would appreciate it if you didn't sully my reputation. I mean, you're doing a pretty good job of that yourself, dude. Until I explain my points in court, I avoid giving away unnecessary details. I was merely saving you time. How could he act like this and still keep the truth from us? His concealment of the truth is something I simply cannot ignore. Their real connection. Do do do, I love this cross-examination music. Yes, Dan. It seems you knew about their real connection all along. Why did you hide it from us? I would never divulge information to a mere insect such as yourself so easily. You're like the ant that came in and got <laughs> the sugar. I am not a fool like that detective after all. I was just doing things my way. Hmph! It was because you defied me that he gained this information in the first place. Last night, when I interrogated him, he told me all about his connection with Dover. How they met at a bar together and had drinks. And that they both wanted to join the Great British Bake Off. <laughs> Last night, that was after Mr. Dover's sculptures had melted, right? Yes. Sabotage. Afterwards, I went to investigate- Interrogate! Sorry! I did not investigate him. I interrogated him, stop me impersonal. Von Karma gets all flustered. <laughs> interrupted- Interrogated by Von Karma. Uh, sounds scary. Also interrupted by Von Karma is scary. Knowing Mr. Gustavi, I feel like he probably tried to meditate through the interrogation. The moment he closed his eyes... I snapped my fingers like so to show him that no one remained silent in front of me! And did that have any effect? Because of that, I was able to get a perfect confession about his connection with Dover. He's like, I'm meditating. Okay, I'll tell you everything! <laughs> he just has to snap him to attention. Until the day before the finals, they worked uh, together. <laughs> yes. They worked together. <laughs> Why do you think Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover collaborated? Why? Because Gustavia had poor design sense and Dover was a novice at baking. Without the help of each other, they would never have made it through a single round. If so, what was their mutual goal? Why cooperate until the finals? The finals will be fought on our own merits, Gustavia said, and then he entered their collaboration. Gustavia's goal was to obtain the title of the world's greatest pastry chef. It seems his pride as a pastry chef won out in the end. Victory in the finals would certainly have been hollow had he cheated. So he believes that their cooperation only went as far as the semifinals. But what if it really continued through the finals? Prosecutor Von Karma, could you explain their cooperation in a little more detail? No! <laughs> Very well. Why? Because he had poor design sense and Dover was a novice at baking. 
Concerning your statement about Mr. Gustavi's designs, I have no objections to that. I have no objections either. He's got no sense of style. When I saw him attempting to fashion my likeness with candy... What? Humph! Just thinking about it disgusts me! He, they were trying to make a statue of... He, Gustavi's like, I will make your face out of candy. It's like, barf. <laughs> 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 I actually like this candy crafting, though. <laughs> That's the ultimate insult to Mon Karma. Like, that's how you it's want to get just like the barfing emoji. This <laughs> <laughs> I think of your face, Mon Karma. That's the most offensive thing since the president of Zane Foth whipped off America. Pretty much. <laughs> A novice pastry chef and one with no sense of design. It's only natural such pathetic specimens would associate with each other. Their cooperation lasted only through the semifinals. For the finals, they were on their own. They cooperated the day before, but not the day itself. That seems highly unnatural, don't you think? What I am saying is only the truth. How unnatural it is matters not. <laughs> but weren't you unnaturally concealing the very same truth just a moment ago? <laughs> there must have been a reason he hid that fact from us. Mr. Master said Mr. Dover was the favorite to win at the finals. Which means he must have been still been cooperating with Mr. Gustavi at the time, right? Yes, that is what I believe. I must have evidence that proves that they still cooperated during the finals. Alright, let's see. I actually don't remember. Uh, let's see. His sherbet. Two photos. Bada beam, bada beam. Delicious testimony. It was very delicious, but the liar was very salty. Uh, Victim's blood, no. I thought it was. I thought it was just because his sherbet was so good. Nope. <laughs> that statement is strange. It contradicts this piece of evidence. Avon Karma's logic is perfect. The very thought of a contradiction is inconceivable. <laughs> you think that evidence can break my logic? Uh, do over time warp. Uh, Delicia said it was very good. Oh, just wrong piece of evidence. Straight my tie. You say that Mr. Gustavi and Mr. Dover did not collaborate during the finals. That's strange. Delicia testified that Dover's sherbet was most delicious. Being a novice chef, I doubt he could have done that all by himself, or he just googled good sherbet recipe. <laughs> Perhaps the two of them cooperated during the finals as well? Defense attorney, how many times do I have to tell you? Delicia Scones' subjective opinion cannot be admitted as evidence. There is still a chance that a novice chef could make something tasty. My wife is an amateur, yet her cooking rivals that of world-class chefs. <laughs> how is that not a subjective opinion? That face was funny. <laughs> Moreover, if you even take this pharmacist's testimony to be true, it changes nothing. I wonder what his wife is like. Maybe she's more normal. She's like really just nice. Like, oh, it's so great to see you. Come on inside. She yeah. must be pretty since uh, Francisca's pretty. <laughs> Ouch. I have the most beautiful face. <laughs> it's more the hair. She also mentioned that a part of his sh sherbet was very salty. Which means you can hardly call his entry for the finals perfect. <laughs> what, no more objections? Is there no way I can prove the collaboration? Um, Mr. Edgeworth, there's something that's been bugging me. Hmm, what is it? The desserts Mr. Dover made for the finals would have taken a long time to make, right? Indeed, they were frozen sh sculptures after all. How would he have had the time to sculpt it after it was frozen? Let alone help Mr. Gustavio with his design as well. The way I see it, just waiting for the sherbet to freeze would have used up all his time. Hmm, just how was he able to make those sherbet sculptures? Raymond, you may have a promising future after all. Aww. Thanks to you, I have noticed one more possibility. That's right. Mr. Dover's sherbet needed time to freeze properly. And the contest's time limit would not have been enough. 
The method Mr. Dover used to make his sherbet within the time limit was... It was prepared in advance, it was frozen on that day. They weren't desserts. If they weren't desserts, that's a collaboration with Delicious Scones. <laughs> <laughs> no. Actually, they were all in cahoots. They were all like, not Let's work together, let's desserts. all win. Delicia wants the recipe book. Uh, Gustavi wants the title of being the best. And then Dover wanted the drugs. <laughs> yeah. I would say it's prepared in advance. If the sherbet was prepared in advance, all he'd need to do is sculpt it. You! Just what are you mumbling about? In your brain. Please excuse me. I finally realized. Your earlier view was correct. Huh? M mr Edgeworth? What are you doing? Oh, so you're finally admitting defeat? No. All I'm admitting to is the truth of one of your statements. Dover and Gustavia's collaboration lasted only until the day before the finals. It is exactly as you said. They only cooperated until the day before the finals. The sculptures in Mr. Dover's room were all made out of sherbet. Such an amount would most likely need to be left overnight to freeze. Which means Mr. Gustavia prepared Mr. Dover's sherbet in advance the day before. <laughs> That's right. So you realize Gustavia's cooperation ended the day before the finals. Then, why did Mr. Dover not help Mr. Gustavia in return? The views of the dead are of no concern to me. If you aren't going to answer that, I'll need to get in touch with Mr. Gustavia himself. Or was your interrogation not quite as thorough as you claim? You ingrate! You dare mock me! That was not my intention, but I do have a problem with your attitude. <laughs> I want you to give us a clear reason why we can't speak to Mr. Gustavia in person. Humph! <laughs> a clear reason? Gustavia and Dover's collaboration has no bearing on this case. You claim their collaboration is irrelevant? If Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover's relationship had turned sour, it could serve as a motive for murder. You're saying that Gustavia and Dover's collaboration was linked to the motive for the murder? If that were the case, why not did he not conceal it? After all, we found out about his collaboration from Gustavia himself. If you really are a lawyer, show us evidence that gives us reason to suspect Gustavia. Only one of Mr. Gustavia's actions has been suspicious so far. Doubtless Von Karma already knows of this fact. This could be a trap by Von Karma. Humph! <laughs> What's wrong, defense attorney? Not going to answer. But, I mustn't back down now. Mr. Gustavia sneaked into Mr. Dover's room. His reasons for this are currently unknown. But the very fact he secretly entered the victim's room is reason enough to suspect him. If that's the extent of it, I can dispel those doubts. I knew it. It was a trap after all. I was intending to serve this, save this for the courtroom, but I'll make a special exception. We wouldn't want to prolong the trial with unnecessary information, would we? I do have a spa appointment to keep. <laughs> yeah. Take a look at this. Get a load of this. Oh, with their sons hung out together? This Ugh. is... Okay, so... Uh, I have so many questions. What? <laughs> so he's eating a bird? <laughs> That's like a candy bird that his candy dad made. Candy bird... Chef Man plus oh, he... <laughs> Lord Farquaad. Lord Farquaad is just like, I hate photos. He's like me. But at least I pretend to smile. <laughs> the little kid looks like Boomy when he's little. <laughs> it's Boomy and Ain. Wait, which one looks no, like Boomy? Boomy is on the, the one on the left, and uh, the one on the right looks like... Um... Kuza. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Zuko. He's little Zuko. <laughs> he's little Zuko. Or like, yeah, and then Samurai Warrior. Parent Care Day. Parent, parent care day. <laughs> this is a photo of Gustavia and Dover and their sons. Hanging Family up. photo added to the court record. Gustavia entered Dover's room in order to steal this photo. Maybe. To steal the photo? Maybe like one of them died and then they were like trying to win the, the cure for cancer. That's <laughs> <laughs> not in that book. Maybe it is. Who knows? It seems their sons attended the same elementary school. 
Apparently, he thought that he'd be suspected if people found out he and Dover were acquainted. Yes, just like you're doing now! <laughs> there is nothing suspicious about Gustavia's actions! No further room for argument! No! He's still adamant on not letting us meet with Mr. Gustavia. I have an investigation to return to! I have no more time to waste on the likes of you! I'm oh, sorry, guys! <laughs> Curse that Von Karma! Calling us a waste of time! What should we do? Mr. Edgeworth! At this rate, Master Jeff will be... Von Karma is... busy. Of course. Why would he be so busy? Both the body and the murder weapon have been found, and he already has his, his suspect. The police should have had more than enough investi evidence to prove Mr. Master's guilt. I cannot believe this game is fan translated. I know. If that's the case, then why is Von Karma still investigating the crime scene? Mr. Edgeworth, is there something wrong? It seems I have been overlooking a matter of vital importance. Considering that he already has the evidence he needs to convict Mr. Master, I feel that Von Karma isn't as composed as he should be. He didn't even tell Detective Bad the full results of the investigation. Yeah. Von Karma's a bit on edge at the moment. He still hasn't received the autopsy report. Furthermore, something vanished from the crime scene, and we still don't know why. Detective Bad, please look at the crime scene carefully once more. The blood stain that should have remained at the crime scene has disappeared. I definitely didn't get any reports about the blood stain being cleaned up. But the strangest thing we found wasn't in Mr. Master's room at all. It's a match. The blood in the fountain is Dover's. Mr. Dover's blood vanished from Mr. Master's room, and somehow found its way into the fountain. What does this mean? Well, probably the two blood ones are connected. I was expecting- I was waiting for it to just die. <laughs> <laughs> Although the victim's blood wasn't found in Mr. Master's room, it was detected in the water fountain. Oh wait, so- Wait, the guy that looks like Lord Farquaad is the one who's dead? Yeah, you didn't know that? I forgot. Yeah, Lord okay. Farquaad dead. <laughs> okay, so he's dead. So maybe his son's not there for pretty obvious reasons then. No, no, no. It was Gustavia's son that it was that didn't show up for the finals. When he came to the other ones. In truth, it's like... The son's got in a huge fight, and then the dad's got in a huge fight because of the son. <laughs> and then these guys are gonna get in the biggest fight you've ever, ever seen. seen. Uh-oh, here comes Yo-Yo Ma! <laughs> there would be no need for the killer to conceal the bloodstains after the body was found. It's unnatural that only the bloodstains that were found with the body disappeared. Unless the body was moved, the blood would have still remained on the chocolate. Don't tell me. Someone removed the body and then erased the bloodstains? In truth, the guy just ate the blood red chocolate. They're like, you want this raspberry chocolate? Sure. And Mr. Master's like, mmm, delicious. <laughs> and he can't taste it. He can't taste it. Yeah. It could be possible. <laughs> we made jello! Or I made fruit punch! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ew. It's possible that the body, was, the body was removed from the crime scene. And the autopsy report still has not arrived. Although we have a murder weapon and a suspect, we don't know much about the body. I've been investigating under the assumption that the body has been discovered. Perhaps this assumption was wrong from the very beginning. Why didn't Von Karma give Detective Bad the autopsy report? To understand that, yes, I must turn my logic around. My thinking shouldn't be, why is Von Karma hiding information about the body? But rather, what if Von Karma doesn't even have the information to begin with? What happens if I think of it like that? It's possible that the body wasn't removed by the police for autopsy. It was moved and hidden by the real killer. Mr. Edgeworth! I've heard many dark rumors surrounding Von Karma. 
What? He's a prosecutor who forges evidence, fabricates testimonies, and makes backroom deals. Yeah, I've heard that too! But, what does that have to do with this? I try to avoid judging others based on rumors. And I didn't let those rumors influence my opinion on Von Karma. Until today. It seems, he's a man who would distort the truth. What? Yeah. Distort the truth? You don't mean forgery! I do. And I can't allow him to get away with this. He's just standing over there. I must return to the prosecutor's office for now. Not a word to that attorney. <laughs> Roger. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want, defense attorney? I want to know the truth that you've been hiding. Fool! Are you trying to mislead the police's investigation again? If you interfere with the investigation anymore, I'll be forced to reprimand you myself! Police? No. My objection is with you! What? Isn't it a prosecutor's job to ensure justice for criminals? Humph! <laughs> what are you saying? I have no time to debate the job of a prosecutor with you. However, I will tell you one thing. My job is to ensure all those I prosecute are found guilty. Before the perfect proof, there can be no room for doubt. And to find that perfect proof, you would even stoop to forgery? Ha! I was wondering what you were going on about. You intend to accuse me of forgery, don't you? Yes. And it's for that reason, you did not allow Detective Bad to investigate. What do you mean? The real reason Detective Bad wasn't investigating was not so he could keep an eye on us. It was to hide the fact that you never found the body. What? They never found the body? You cretins! You will cease with these ludicrous accusations! I will not tolerate any further insults! In that case, let us verify the body. If you do, we will have evidence that shows whether I am right or not. <laughs> the burden of proof falls on you, defense attorney. Every time! I have no reason to comply with your baseless conjecture. You must have noticed it too, the lack of blood stains at the crime scene. So why did the blood vanish? And more importantly, where did it go? This is making me- Foolishness! Why would anyone erase just the blood in the chest that contained the body? This is making me think of that meme, where it's like your plane is like Phoenix Wright, where it's like, like you are stupid, show me proof, and it's like, yeah. oh, and then like, your plane Wait. is like, it's like, the power, the glory! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that makes no sense at all. I win. <laughs> Yes, that's exactly right. If the body had been found there, the disappearing bloodstains would have no meaning at all. However, what if the body was already gone? To erase the traces of the body being there, one would have to just get rid of the bloodstains as well. Why make such a fuss over these bloodstains? Seems like a trivial detail to me. Or are you saying that you can show me where those bloodstains went? In court, everything must be said with evidence. Isn't that right, Von Karma? In that case, I'll show you the evidence supporting my claim. Yeah, we, we got the fountain evidence. You're good. There were traces of the victim's blood found in the fountain. Traces of Mr. Master's chocolate were also found in this very fountain. In other words, the blood was washed down the stream, which then flowed into the fountain. All of this points to only one possibility. After the body was removed, someone erased the blood stains. Gah! Von Karma, where was the body really found? If you really found the body, you should be able to answer. You! How? How do you know this information? How do you know the results of the water composition test on the fountain? Because I allowed them to investigate. Bad! Always a thorn in my side! From here on out, I will not allow you to associate any fervor with this case. <laughs> it 
It's not like you were letting me do much anyway. Von Karma, you still haven't answered my question. Or, are you admitting to the fact that you didn't find the body after all? You say I never found the body? Where is your evidence? He's never going to confess. I have nothing further to say to you. Gregory Edgeworth, this matter will be decided in court. We'll see just how well your logic holds up there. Von Karma, I know your methods are wrong. I promise without fail, I will expose the truth you've hidden. Baka! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Detective Bad, I'm sorry. It's because you let me investigate that. No. This was bound to happen sooner or later. This is also the first time I've been restricted in my investigation. Your theory that they never found the body sounds pretty close to the mark. That, I will make clear in court. <laughs> If there's anything I can do to help, let me know. Even though I'm no longer in charge of this case. Then, though I'm very sorry about this, I have one more favor to ask of you. Hey, what are you guys whispering about? I want to know too! Heh. <laughs> this will be my trump card in court. The information I've gathered up until now should be enough to prove Mr. Master's innocence. But, if all else fails, I'll have this ready. Your trump card? <laughs> You'll see at the trial. Wow! I get to be at the trial too? Of course. You are my assistant, after all. <laughs> I'll be an Ace Attorney too next year. <laughs> Ace Attorney Investigations by Raymond Shields. <laughs> Hopefully, though. Von Karma, Von Karma will never beat the two of us. Right. Although, I hope to clear Mr. Master's name before you become a lawyer. If Von Karma is to be my opponent, he'll want the trial ended in a day. That's right. We have to save Master Jeff as long as we can, and as fast as we can, sorry. <laughs> I'm just so worked up. After all, if this is you we're talking about, I'm sure you'll beat Von Karma. Jeff Master, alone in a dark cell, arrested on false charges. I must expose Von Karma's lies if I am to save him. To end part one. To be continued. At middle part six. Alright, so that was a longer recording session than I was planning yeah. on. Sorry about that. That's but okay. we just got to the part where I'm like, I can't we can't really stop now. But so, Yeah. Yeah, so if things are getting interesting, mm -hmm. we may go to court next time. We don't go to court in these games. Not you well, okay. That's what you think. <laughs> It, who knows? Because Gregory's a defense attorney, it could just play out like a normal trial after it this. It could, but it's But then we also have the present stuff to solve as well. Yeah, exactly. Like it's the new kind of hard found. to break that up. You can't just be like, we're going to go to recess, and then recess yeah. is going to the present. Anyhow, That's confusing. tune in next time, everyone. It's going to be great. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.